Welcome back, it's day number 70, it's John again, and we are promoting ClickBank products using My Lead Gen Secret. 70 days, it's crazy. You know, when you, when you think from where you are now, 70 days seems like a long time. It's like 70 days of doing things every single day, that's a big commitment, okay? And you look back after 70 days and you go, well, actually, it went really quick, okay? And you, you speak to the majority of older people, and they go, wow, my life went really quick, okay? It's always not a great thing, but what I'm saying is, is that if you're gonna start something, and if you're consistent with something, that time will go quick, and you'll look back after, you know, 30, 60, 90 days, 180 days, six months, 12 months, and you think that went really quick, and look what I've done, and look what I've generated, look at the income that I've generated, that otherwise I wouldn't have generated if I hadn't have put the effort in. So this is, this is a, yeah, 70 days. So here we go. So I want to go over to my ClickBank account um, because we've had two sales came in. Uh, since we, had a, we had a gap yesterday, um, which is no good. We don't want gaps, but two sales today, which is pretty good. Um, in terms of the reporting, let me go and have a look at the stats. So uh, oh, let's just go back to, because it's just, Okay, let's see if we can get some stats up. From the 1st of January to the 12th of March, which is today, 15,714 hops, 284 impressions, 31 initial sales, that doesn't include recurring, 10.92 uh, conversion rate, and 802.91 on the gross earnings. So I said, you know, hopefully by the end of the month, we've still got a half the, well, more than half the month to go, uh, about three weeks left, and uh, we're going we're gonna to smash that $1,000 uh, target, which is really good. One thing that's really interesting to note, if you go and look at the uh, the other stats, this is the current week. Okay, one hundred and forty six dollars. This is the this is the most productive week we've had so far. When I first started doing this case study, what I said was, you get a hit rate. Okay, so if you first if you start doing Marley Gen Secret today, it might take you three weeks, it might take you two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever to get your first sale. Okay, and that's just the way it works. But this is what I call a hit rate. Okay, so you get like a, a one to four weeks, okay? And then the next sale might come in in three weeks. And then the next sale might come in two and a half weeks and so on. So that it, that hit rate improves and it gets it gets shorter and shorter. And what I said about this was that we were getting a sale every three days, every two days, every other day, and then pretty much, pretty much every day with the odd gap. And then what I said was, we're gonna start seeing multiple sales and even though i say multiple i've only had multiples of two at the moment okay but that will improve and over time because we're dealing with recurring revenue and we're also compounding our efforts that income is going to increase and that's exactly what it's done so we were starting with 43 dollar weeks then 72 then 91 73 109 127 146 so over time what I said would happen is, is actually happening. And the only reason it's happening is because we're refining the process and we're being consistent all, all the way through. And those really are the two bigger takeaways. Be consistent, refine your process. That is it, okay? Just get better at what you do, okay? And the system will take care of itself. Right, so what we're gonna do, um, if you go to, um, if I show you my lead gen secret, where are we, here we are. My gen secret, some people love it, some people hate it, everyone's got their own opinion because Let's face it, everybody online has got their own agenda and they don't always tell you what their agenda is. My agenda is to show you how straightforward it can be to make money online. I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't tell you it's really easy and dead simple and you've got to make money and blah, 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 and, you know, fairy fairy tales. Uh, I'll just tell you how it is, okay? And I tell you the pitfalls. And the biggest pitfall with this is people don't have the tenacity to keep going long enough, just long enough to start to get those results, okay? It takes around three months to start to see the momentum. You get your first sale, then you'll get a few more sales, and three months you sort of find your rhythm, and most people don't give it long enough, and that is the big pitfall with the majority of things in life, okay? Look at all the people who do New Year's resolutions, okay? It's, 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 it's a sad state of affairs, but it's just what humans do, okay? Because that's the way we're wired, so that is the biggest pitfall. So yeah, My Gen Secret, it gives you 100 co-registration business opportunity leads every single day. The biggest problem I see for most online business owners 
is a lack of leads. Great products, great affiliate marketing products they're promoting, but who they're gonna promote it to, that's a problem for some people, okay? And My Lead Gen Secret solves that problem because it gives you those leads every single day. Now, My Lead Gen Secret also, they have an affiliate program, so you can refer other people. Okay, you're getting leads in from My Lead Gen Secret, so the first thing you wanna be doing is promoting the system, the affiliate program to those leads, so you get the bonus leads, because uh, when you refer somebody, to My Gen Secret, you get 100 additional bonus leads. So instead of getting 100 leads a day, you get 200 leads a day per account. Okay, and now you can start with one account. Um, one thing I did, <clears throat> I realized you can stack your accounts under each other because they allow you to be your own affiliate. Okay, unlike anything else, <coughs> you can be your own affiliate. So therefore, you can get the bonus leads and also you can get the commissions. So for everyone that you refer, you get five dollars, okay, recurring every single month, okay, for as long as they keep their subscription going. You get five dollars a month, and let me tell you, in conjunction with the recurring revenue on ClickBank, in conjunction with the new sales you get on ClickBank, and also in conjunction with the leads you're getting in, and also the the income that you're getting in recurring from Marley Gen Secret, this overall can be a nice profitable business in itself even though it's as simple as it is. And what it will do, it will teach you how to market online, it will teach you how to write copy, it will teach you how to write emails, and you can transfer that into many other things, okay? Mid, high ticket products, okay? And you can do really well as a result of starting with something like this. Um, a lot of six and seven figure earners, they they promote Marley Gen Secret because they understand the benefit of getting leads. Okay, and that they do well as a result. Anyway, if you want to have a look at the video, day zero video, that will tell you all about Marley Gen Secret, how to get set up in the right way, how to get your multiple accounts, and uh, just really get set up in the most profitable way for you. Okay, and that's what I always say. Make sure the numbers work for you first. Okay, um, if you go to the description below, okay, if you go and click on the description, what you'll see is a link here which says click here to join Miley Gen Secret. Now, if you want to get involved in this, and why, I just encourage you to do something. Okay, it doesn't really matter what you do online, but there's so many people. Pro, I am uh, yeah, okay. This is my this is my prop for today. Okay, this is my product. Okay, they're getting business opportunities and they're prodding it like that. Does it work? Is it still alive? Okay, is it going to work for me? I'm not really sure. Okay, and the reason I'm doing this case study really is to show you step by step exactly what I'm doing. Okay, exactly what I'm doing. Now, I'll, I'll be quite honest with you, $800 in two and a half, well, in 70 days, it's not pulling up any trees, okay? But it's realistic. And what I'm showing you is that in another three months time, another six months time, over 12 months, that is gonna be a substantial number, okay? But if I come in and say, look, I've made you know 24 grand in the last two weeks, it's gonna put most people off, okay? But most people can handle you know, making $1,000 in a quarter, making $2,000 in a quarter, making $1,000 a month, and that's what is gonna happen over time with this. Okay, so have a look at this. Click on there. Okay, if you click on that, what that does, that takes you through to my page. And what you'll see, you'll see this day zero video on my page. Okay, this is uh, johnmclaughlin.co. My Lead Gen Secret, okay, and if you click on join now, click up, fill out your name and email address, that puts you onto my list, I never sell your details, I never send you any nonsense or spam or anything like that, okay, um, I send you a lot of information, okay, one of them is um, a, 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 an ebook on how to put emails together, the 10 minute email format model, plus I give you all sorts of other bonuses, now when you click on that, Okay, that's gonna take you over to the Miley Gen Secret checkout page. Um, and let me tell you, you can get all this for $30 a month. Okay, ClickBank is free and Miley Gen Secret is just $30 a month. And you're gonna cover your costs. And uh, that was a question that I got in uh, earlier today. I'm gonna to answer that in a second. Um, $60 for the first month, okay, to get set up, and then $30 a month thereafter. And if you follow this, this case study, as, as I do it, okay, yeah, okay, maybe the first couple of months you might have to pay out, okay, and this is what I always say, is always make sure that you can afford any outgoings that you've got, 
okay whatever it is in business okay make sure you can cover those outgoings until you get that return but I guarantee you'll get the return if you are consistent okay I don't guarantee anything I don't guarantee income but I will guarantee that you'll make some money with this if you are consistent and I'm just showing you the process in this okay um, now what's gonna say then I was gonna say something else yeah so to, so go and click on that link get your first account um, and if you're not quite sure of anything drop me a comment okay drop me a comment yeah that was a, that was a thing <clears throat> someone said to me <clears throat> um, are you actually profitable okay with this well let me let me show you this so we're not yet I've paid for three months because I my the the expenses come out at the beginning of the month okay so I pay $150 a month because I've got five accounts okay so based on this, um, 150, what one, two, three, 450 dollars is what I've I've paid out right now, um, and and again this is gonna this is gonna go over a thousand dollars. So yeah, I, I am profitable. Okay, um, and what happens is even though um, it's eight hundred dollars, okay, even if I'm making you know, twenty eight thousand dollars, okay, the expenses are still the same. Okay. So it's all about just developing your skill. So yes, I am profitable, um, but there, there have been times in the past, I'll be quite honest, where I haven't been profitable, and that's simply because I've been inconsistent, okay? I've maybe, or I've been working, I, I, I had a spell a few years ago where I worked away, uh, and we were working offshore on a ship, and uh, there was um, really bad internet connection, if, if anybody can relate to that. Um, and... I didn't. I didn't. Uh, didn't email for about three months. Of course, what happened? Nothing. I just paid the expenses. Okay. Um, but yeah, you've got to be consistent, right? Okay. Let's jump onto this. Right, mailing system. So what I've done, or what I usually do, um, I usually go to the affiliate marketplace, and I show. If you go to day one to day fifty, I show you exactly what I do. Okay. I go to e-business, e-marketing. Okay, and I sort the results, rank high to low. These are the most profitable or the most popular products to the least popular. Okay, and live chat jobs is what I've been promoting since day one. Okay, so if I go to promote, I can click on my nickname, I can put my tracking in there. So I always put 1ml and the date, which is 1203 or 0312 if you're from the US. Encrypted hop link. I want to copy that. I want to come over to my notepad, and I'm going to just going to paste that in. Okay, tracking ID equals one ML twelve o three. Okay, and what I do because I've got five accounts, I like to track which account is doing the best. Um, so I change the number. But essentially, what this does, it just gives me if, if I if I send an email, and it produces a sale, then I'll put all the emails that produce sales in a document. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I know pretty much I'm sending good emails and that's why I'm getting some good results. That's that. Okay, now you can go to the affiliate page. <coughs> the vendor, the, the, the creator of the product has put all kinds of marketing assets together for affiliates. Okay, this is on ClickBank. If you haven't got a ClickBank account, go to clickbank.com, get an account, get set up and you can promote anything straight away. You don't have to be pre-approved. You just need an account. So what we do, we're going to click on email swipes, and from day day one to day fifty, I cycle through these um, twice. Okay, and what what I always recommend you do is, let's say if you click on number five, okay, there's a subject line, there's the body, change it so it sounds like it's coming from you. Okay, and even if you go through all these emails one by one, you'll notice that there were probably two or three people writing these emails. You can tell okay because the the style is different okay so it's have a look through these as a, as a learning exercise for yourself and just read them okay and just see see how they sound okay and just voice them so they sound like they're coming from you and the better you get at voicing these emails to sound like they're coming from you the more successful you will be okay so put some of your humor in there if it's appropriate if it's appropriate okay mine is definitely not appropriate being an ex-policeman um, Put your branding in there, okay? Put maybe put your opinion in there, okay? But just keep it so it sounds like you. Because every single email they get, they go, "Oh, it's an email from John." Okay. What you don't want is somebody because people will open their emails. They they will open them. They will read them. They might not respond, 
But if they get an email on day one and it's like, hey, John, how are you doing? Okay, and then the next day it's a different email but it sounds like it's from it's from you but it sounds like it's from someone different. Okay, they're going to get spooked. They're going to go, this this guy's this guy's either schizophrenic or he's uh, he's just copied and pasted emails. All right, so so that's what that's that's the big takeaway. So what I do, I'm going to grab all my leads. So I said, you know, you get a hundred to two hundred leads. I've had two hundred leads a day since, uh, but almost for five years now. Um, 320,800 leads. Now, I want to caveat that by saying the difference that makes the difference is not just how many leads you've got. Okay, I know people from the past who've had 20, 30,000 people on their email list, um, and we all, you know, we all think it's great. Wow, you got 20, 30,000 people on your email list. How many sales have you made? Uh, none. Okay because it's all to do with the relationship you've got with your list, okay? So if you're consistent and you sound like you and you're offering good stuff, they will make you make sales, okay? Simple as that, okay? But one of the questions people ask, they always ask this, okay? Oh, you're getting sales with Miley Gen Secret. How many, how many accounts have you got? How many leads have you got? What are you selling, okay? And it's, it's the saddest questions I get because what it means is, it means they're not taking responsibility for themselves, okay? They don't say, you know, how, how do you brand yourself? What do you actually say in your emails? How do you construct your emails to get them opened, okay? They're more obsessed with the numbers, which means people are more obsessed with making money, okay? The making money takes care of itself, all right? The making money takes care of itself when you practice your skills, all right? When you, when you develop your skills. Um, you get the message. I say this every day. I say the same thing every day. I want the message to go in, because what I'm I had a, I had a chat with with one of my business partners yesterday, and we're both sick and tired of people looking for the secret pill. Okay, you know, and and marketers saying AI is a secret pill. It's a secret. It's the it's the secret everyone's been looking for. You know, I tell you what, AI is gonna end most people's careers quicker than you think and the only people that are going to survive are the people that develop skills through wonderful little programs like this that generate income it's just, it's almost like the the tortoise and the hare scenario okay believe you me okay i've been doing this long enough right let's get on shall we right so what we've got we've got yesterday's email so i'm going to load in yesterday's email because it keeps all the formatting and the formatting that i like to have in my emails is the font size 16 okay I think 18 is a bit too big 14 obviously clearly too small uh, and what I like is a double a double paragraph spacing okay and also the formatting that I try to do is the 1313 one, format okay so you have one line and then three lines like one line three lines but I try and do it as best I can in in, con in conjunction with the email sounding like it's from somebody who is actually sane. Okay, because sometimes I've seen emails written purely to get people to look at the email and go to the next one, but the email doesn't really make sense. So you've got to make sure the email makes sense, number one. You've got to make sure that it's properly written, it's grammatically correct, and you put all the capitals in the right place. Okay, you can be conversational, Okay, to, and you need to be conversational. You need to be, you know, you don't want to be writing war and peace. You want to be conversational, but at the same time, it needs to be grammatically correct. It really does. Okay, in my book anyway, uh, because it boosts your, your credibility. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my email from, uh, from that I've got on my file. So here's the, the subject line is 33 per hour. You're in demand, Bob. Details inside. Okay. So what I find is sometimes when you've got something like 33 per hour, okay, that is the attention grabber. That's the hook. Okay, that's what you want is the hook. And also if you put it in these box brackets, this can also work well as well because it make it just, just highlight it, make it stand out a bit. Okay, so you're in demand, Bob. Okay. Why am I in demand? Details are inside. Okay, so as we always say, curiosity is the market's best friend. As long as you don't overdo it. 
Okay, you've got to be, so you're going to have some modicum of professionality. And then what you need to do is you need to make sure that the, the subject line is congruent with the copy, with the body. Okay, really, really important. Never mislead someone to open an email and then just write nonsense. Okay, so it's really important. So I'm going to copy this. <clears throat> And we're going to paste that in. Okay, so the first thing I'll do, because I've pasted it in from Notepad, it's just altered the spacing. So I'm just going to alter this paragraph spacing so it gets, so it looks all right. So I want to say about things being, oh, let me just do this a minute. Three on that one. Things like when it's a when it's the title of a job, okay, and we're talking about live chat, being a, a live chat assistant, okay. I've had people renewing now for the third month, um, which means it's a product that people it's working for people and they like it. Okay, that's that's something great. Um, but things like live chat assistant, it's it's a title of a job. The first letter needs to be capitalized okay things like that if you leave that off okay if you don't capitalize the first word number one it's not correct grammatically and also when you when you when you um, capitalize the first letter or the first word shall we say yeah the first letter um, it gives it more gravitas okay because you, and, and you know a bit like the the um, here we go up here the subject line okay we tested this right from day one and realized that if you capitalize the first letter um, we get more opens, okay? So that's what we do because it gives it more gravitas. If we put lowercase in there, it just looks a bit lackluster, okay? So, so things like that, just, just, just pay attention to it and 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 take the time to make it put put the effort in. That's what I'm saying. Put the effort in to make it look good. And if you suffer with dyslexia or if you're not very good with English or maybe if English isn't your first language, um, go and download Grammarly, okay? Get Grammarly for um, for your for your browser, Grammarly is okay. It'll 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 kind of keep you guided. Okay, it'll give you a, a good idea. Uh, but it, it again, it's right. Okay, so I'm going to grab the link, and what we've got here, we've got a link halfway. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the link, right click, I'm going to paste it in. But this one, I want to call one a. 1A ML, okay? Because what I found is a lot of people, um, they click the first link. And it's always, it's one of those rules of, of email marketing where if you've got a fairly, I mean, that's kind of halfway, but it's always good to have a, a call to action just at the top, okay? And what I might do, I might, I don't add it to every single one, but I might start doing that based on the stats. Okay, and also make this, make this call to action slightly softer, okay? Um, simply because it's the first, it's the first call to action. Okay, it's a bit like if somebody goes into a, I don't know, um, so you, you you go into a shop and you want to buy a suit. Okay, so you go in and you want to buy a nice jacket. Okay, guy goes in, he says, uh, "Can I help you?" Okay, can I, can I, can I? Or, or if he's a really good salesman, he'll say, "You know what, the the check would look great on you." What have you got in hound's tooth? Okay, so. It's a softer approach, okay? Then, as he's trying them on, he will go for a slightly more more masculine, slightly more direct call to action. You know what, I think you should go for this one, it's fantastic. And actually, if you go for the shirt and also the tighter match, that'll be fantastic for what you're doing. You know, and that those those kind of things. So, the first one is a softer one. This one is a slightly harder one. Although, I've got, hit this link. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use that there so one okay and I'm gonna bold it so sometimes with the first call to action I don't always uh, capitalize the first letter how am I going to
that's better a little bit softer okay and this one's a little bit more masculine um, sometimes I, I, I hyperlink the whole thing okay but for this one I'm just going to hyperlink the, the hit this link and that's it right um, in terms of the signature I always put the same signature in I encourage you to do the same thing also hyperlink your your picture your image okay um, again it's really simple to put an image in there you can put you can put an image on Facebook okay so if I show you this uh, So there's there's the URL. So if you go to something like Facebook, I think I put this on my uh, this on my get response, okay. But you can I've, I've had it before where I've put it on my Aweber and just selected the URL. I've I've shown you different videos of uh, uploading an image like this to Facebook and then just just clicking the the image link, okay, and it will do the same. And you can format the size, really easy. Same with these. Okay, and again, I encourage you to do this. Put your Facebook on it. Put your YouTube on it, so people can see who you are. People do business with people okay and they want to know who you are get to know like and trust you um, and also the PS line takes people back to uh, this this page okay get to there so I get I'm getting sign ups all the time from Mali Gen Secret simply by doing this okay so it, it makes a, a big difference click on perfect timing we'll preview this we'll have a look so there we go there's the uh, the email again condensed and to the point it tells people exactly what they need to know We'll click on there just to make sure it's working okay. There we go. There's the the landing page and the hop equals McLaughlin, which is my um, my code. There we go. We'll just click on that to make sure it's okay as well. There we go. Make sure your hop's all done correctly. I've done it before where I've sent it <laughs> without the hop and then the vendor was very happy. Okay, so we're going to close that. We're all good to go. We'll send email. So again, if you've got multiple accounts, the easiest way to copy this in is what I'm going to do now: is click on source, click anywhere, Control A C. Okay, I'm going to come over to my Notepad, right-click and paste it in. Okay. Then I'm going to just make a space at the top. I'm going to paste in the subject line. Copy that. There we go. That's it all there. So just click anywhere. Okay, Control A, C. That's the only copy you need to do. Okay, you don't have to do anything else. So I'll go accounts, or go log out. We'll go log in and account number two. You see, I've got five accounts. Look, account number two, log in. Uh, where are we going now? Mailing system, select all the leads. We'll paste that in. Okay, what you need to do is just take out the code that you don't need. Source, control A and V. Obviously, put your combination in if you're uh, on a Mac. And all I do on here is I'll change this from a one to a two. From there, there, just just click past the one, backspace two. Okay, and that is us done. Okay, again you can preview it just to make sure everything's okay, but again you're copying in source code, so everything is is going to be exact. Send email. <clears throat> right. <laughs> when you get into the swing of this, and I say swing because it is very much like a golf swing. My golf swing is is absolutely fantastic. And then some days my golf swing will be more like I'm declaring war on everybody on the course. Okay. Um, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's just embarrassing. All right. And um, 
sometimes when you put an email together, you look at it and you'll go, that will make sales. Okay, you just know, okay, because you're starting to understand the ingredients of the email, okay, and, and if I show you this, look, this is gonna do well, okay, 33, three is a magic number, okay, according to De La Soul, but 33 an hour, okay, that for some reason, that I tell you right now, that will that will produce results, okay, this is a really good email, and I know it will, I know it will produce results, okay. Um, so yeah, we go, that's it, send email. You get an idea for it, and then when you start to get into the rhythm and you start to make sales, that's when you need, you, first of all, you need to do tracking. I don't care what anyone says, you need to do tracking, whatever you do in your online online business. Um, and then you need to know which emails have produced sales and start using those. And you'll see, you'll see your, your results increase, okay, every time. But, but then don't just sit on your laurels and go, okay, I'm, I'm getting some good sales now. Okay, think how can I improve it? How can I how can I improve the customer experience? How can I improve my emails? How can I and that's what you want to be thinking of all the time. How can I improve? Okay, and, and the thing is with this online business thing is so many people they don't take responsibility for themselves, okay? And this is why you hear people talking about scam, this is a scam, that's a scam. And yeah, okay. I've been involved in scams. Okay, I've been in, well, yeah, okay, I've been involved in uh, in scams that are outright scams. I've been involved in Ponzi schemes, but then you you identify what a Ponzi scheme is pretty quick when you've when you've got plenty of experience. Um, and there's also plenty of crap business models out there. Okay, but ultimately, part and parcel of learning your trade is is learning how to identify things and just taking responsibility for you for yourself. Um, and when you do that, let me tell you, your life will change. It really will. Speaking from somebody who's got direct experience of that, and I'll tell you what, yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm probably the most qualified person to say that. <laughs> There's a face you've had. Okay, this is the last one. Five. Five. There we go. Lovely. I'll preview it. Have a quick look. And that's it. Look at that. Brilliant. Send. Okay, fantastic, we're done. Right, so what I always like to do at this stage is just go to the stats. It's always nice, it never, it's never gonna happen I don't think, but it's always nice to refresh the page to see if we've got any additional sales in the in the 30 minutes that we've been talking. No, we haven't. Um, the, the, we've got the initial sales of 31, which is new business, and we have, I think we've got rebuilds. Yeah, rebuilds 44. Okay, um, <clears throat> so we've got, you know, we're getting some good numbers. And the conversion rate, as I said before, it went from 8.4% uh, initially to around 11%. It kind of hovers around 11%. Uh, it would be great to see that conversion rate go to 20%, which would be uh, more in line with having your own, your own email list. Okay, but currently that's okay. In fact, if we look at sort of last month, so we've got, gone from the 1st of Jan, if we go from the 1st of Feb, and we'll look at the conversion rate. We'll see it's at fourteen point nine six, um, which is which is better. So, again, that's because we've been refining the process and improving things and finding out what people really want and how they how they resonate and sending those emails that have converted into sales. So we're not far away from the twenty percent, but overall, you know, we're hovering around sort of uh, around that eleven percent. Anyway. How are you getting some value from this? Because um, all I'm doing really is just showing you step by step exactly what I do on a day to day basis. Because most people, most people are are struggling really. Because I know what it's like when you see people who've got results 
and you go, well, how did you get those results? And they say, well, I was just sending emails. And you go, yeah, no, but, but how did you really get those results? <laughs> well, I just sent emails. Okay, so it's, it's sometimes frustrating, okay, to see the process. What I'm doing with this case study is I'm showing you the process, you know, day by day. And if you, if you go on to uh, the case study as it is right now, there, here's, here's the case study look. So this is, um, this is the day zero video. The day one video, which was uh, January the 1st, okay, decided to do a, do a case study because it was January the 1st. And then we've got all these different trainings all the way through. Loads and loads of information. Currently, this is yesterday's, today's day 70, so we've got 70 days. Come the end of the year, guess what? We'll have 360 odd days, okay, of, of training. And uh, it'll be nice to see how much revenue we can generate as well so anyway that's it for the training for today if you got some value from this then please subscribe to the channel um, i am doing a, a number of different case studies the, the next case study i'm going to be doing i'm recording it at the moment and it's mid and high ticket affiliate marketing going through exactly the same process but you know if if eight hundred dollars you know, if $800 doesn't really appeal to you, then maybe add a few more zeros on there for the mid and high ticket. Maybe that will appeal to you. Okay, but I'm going through the process and doing that as well. So hit the subscribe button. You'll be the, you'll be the first to get notified on those as well. Um, and if you've got some value from this, give us a big thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And again, if you've got any questions, ask me a question. I always answer them either on video. I always answer them in, on, on text as well. So... Uh, reach out to me in the usual way. All right, we'll talk tomorrow. Bye for now.